Welcome to the Real Board Loft. I'm, uh, my name's Trip Foreman. I'm a good ways down away from you because I'm standing at the end of the Surftech Soft Top 12 footer. And uh, if there was ever a wolf in sheep's clothing, this is it. Um, this is the board where you can get a thousand sessions on and uh, a thousand waves this summer and be smiling all the way to the beach every time. This board is uh, it's based off of the Mickey Moniz 12 footer and uh, and that board is called the Super Glide. And that board has a huge cult following. Uh, again, just because the number of waves you can catch on it and the and the range of use. This this board is based off of that board. It comes out of the same mold when it's being made. The only difference is that rather than having to wax a 12 foot board, uh, they put a 12 foot deck pad on it. So you basically have traction the full length of the board. You never have to worry about the wax uh, melting or re-waxing the board in different uh, water temperatures, which can actually be pretty uh, time consuming when you have a board this big. Uh, and it, it's also even more durable than the uh, standard tough light construction. Uh, this material and then the composites that they're using are gonna be even more ding resistant and uh, maintenance free than even a standard tough light. So you're looking at a standard um, Monia's 12 foot super glide. Uh, even more durable than the Super Glide with a full length deck bed. So what can you do with a board like this? Um, starting out with, you can surf the smallest wave that you've ever seen that might not even break. You, you can have a wave that's ankle high that never gets beyond 45 degrees and you can surf it for longer than you can surf an actual good wave. Um, it's got an unbelievable amount of glide through the water and an amazing paddle speed. So you can take off as far as the longboarders sit outside the shore borders. On a board like this, you could sit that far again outside the long borders. So any wave you want, you can catch and uh, and have reasonably good performance on it as well. The board has a lot of V in the uh, tail section. So from the fin box forward, a lot of V in the back half of the board. And you can also tell if I drop it, how much rocker the board has. So it's got a lot of V to roll off of in the turns. And then it has also a lot of rocker in the board to help the board turn. If you can ride a small wave, another thing that we use the super glides for is we actually ride relatively big waves on them uh, because you have such a good paddle speed that you can ride on the uh, the second, third, or fourth bar out and have the ability to paddle to a peak when it's real shifty and catch waves where on shore boards or mid lake boards you just don't have the paddle speed to get to them. So from the smallest wave you're going to ride this summer to potentially the biggest wave if, if you're brave enough to paddle it out on that day. It just works in a wide range of uh, conditions. Other things that we see people doing with these boards, uh, we have a lot of people that tandem surf with them. So you'll have like husband, wife, or boyfriend, girlfriend, or, or dads and daughters, or um, moms and, and daughters uh, tandem surfing a board like this because you can have two people on this board and paddle into a small wave. Uh, we have a lot of people teaching their friends how to surf because it's incredibly easy to take a board uh, this big and teach somebody how to surf in in uh, shin high surf. So surf that's not intimidating to anybody and just very forgiving and easy to get into. You can, they have a wide stable platform to stand up on and they can get their first rise. The other thing that a lot of people use this board for is stand up paddle boarding. Uh, it was not designed as a stand up paddle board, but it does work well for stand up paddle boarding as long as you're mid weight or below. Or if you're um, a heavier weight stand up paddle board, you have some experience and some good balance side to side because Typically a stand-up paddle board that's 12 feet long would be about 31 inches wide, 32 inches wide. This board is just a little bit over 26, so it's more narrow, which, which actually allows you to turn it rail to rail when you're surfing without a paddle. Uh, when you do have that paddle and you're standing up all the time, 26 for some people, especially bigger guys who don't have as much balance, uh, can be a little bit tippy for a beginner, but anybody under that can stand up paddle for this board and have a uh, it's just basically one more thing to do with it. So if you look at small waves, bigger waves, uh, tandem surfing, teaching your friends, stand up paddle boarding, and then also just distance paddling for exercise. You can prone paddle it, which is laying on your chest and just paddling for exercise, and you can also knee paddle it. Uh, so if you wake up and it's just dead flat and you just want to go to the beach and, and paddle for a few miles for exercise to stay in shape, that's another thing that you can do. So again, it's a, uh, it's a wolf in shape clothing. We've got a few of them that we just got in. Uh, for a sale we have going on, uh, typically a board like this would be 900 to 1000 bucks. Uh, you're looking at 499 while they last. The Surf Tech 12 foot soft top.